Hello, my name is Bob Kaberski with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers the SIP configuration settings for the Avaya 1X Communicator client. On initial startup, the Avaya 1X Communicator provides the ability to automatically configure several of the settings required for operation. This is done through the Auto Configure option using the 46XX settings file. The settings file is typically configured by your system administrator. However, in the event of a problem or change to your communications environment, it may be necessary to verify or change these settings. I'll go through the steps required to access the settings and give you a brief explanation of their purpose. You will need to access the settings window. To do it, select the gear icon on the top of the login window and then select settings. The settings window will open. The first setting at the top of the screen specifies which communications protocol you'll be using to communicate to the Avaya Aura Core. The two options are H323 or SIP, Session Initiated Protocol. For SIP configuration settings, you will need to enter the correct extension number and password for your SIP extension. Then the server list must contain one or more IP addresses for the proxy servers. To make an addition to the list, click on the Add button and enter the IP address of the proxy server. Next is a selection for the transport type and the options are TLS or TCP. TLS meaning Transport Layer Security, TCP meaning Transmission Control Protocol. Keep in mind, if TCP is selected, desk phone mode and IM and presence are not supported. The final entry for the proxy server is the port number. There are defaults for TLS which is 5061 and TCP is 5060. However, a different port can be entered if necessary. Removing an address from the list can be done by highlighting the address and selecting the remove button. The next setting is the domain information. This is the domain of your Avaya or session manager. In the mode setting option can be set to either proxy or peer-to-peer. -peer. The Avaya environment option can be either set to auto or no. Auto would be the selection when connecting to the Avaya or a core. The failback policy can be set to either auto or admin and this is related to how your client will recover after a failback of the proxy. The registration policy setting can be set to either simultaneous or alternate. These are related to how your client manages registering to the proxies. The final setting is to enable video calls, which can be selected if your extension has been configured for video. Typically, your system administrator will provide this information based on the configuration of your communications environment. However, you may select Auto Configure for the client to go out and retrieve this information and try to auto configure these parameters. Manually making any changes to any of these parameters, you will need to select the OK button for the changes to take effect. Finally, these settings can also be viewed after logging into the client by selecting the gear icon on the top of the user interface, selecting the settings option, then general settings. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.